This is going to be a quick video on how to use the Logger Pro video analysis feature to track motion. So I'm in Logger Pro now, and to open up my video, I'm going to go up here to insert and choose movie, and then choose the file that I recorded. So you can see I took this video of a cart falling down a ramp, and I put a meter stick behind it. The meter stick is going to be very important to this experiment because it's going to help Logger Pro understand how far the cart has moved. So all the video analysis tools are down here in this bottom right corner with these three red dots. So when I click that, they appear. Before I start analyzing the video, I want to only start it at the exact moment when I let the cart go. If I analyze it before that, I'm just going to get uninteresting data of the cart staying in one place. So I want to start it exactly when I let the car go, which seems to be about here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up here and select Set Origin, the third button down. This is going to set the origin of an imaginary graph that's on the video so that Logger Pro can know where my zero point is. So I'm going to set the origin where the cart begins. So Logger Pro knows that everywhere else the cart goes is some positive distance away from that zero point. I'm going to have to decide where to record the cart. I personally like to record from the front of the cart, just one consistent place that I'll be able to identify in the video over and over again. And the very front of the cart is pretty clear. It's somewhere in this area right here. So I'll just select what I think is in the middle right there of the front of the cart. So this, this axis appears. This is going to be the X and Y axis that Logger Pro records on. We only really want to record on one axis today, not two. So I'm going to line the axis up with my ramp by going over to this dot and dragging it so that it lines up with the ramp. So now all my X values will just be what the cart is doing, and the cart won't be moving at all in the Y axis direction. So we won't get any additional data for that. We just want one direction for now. So I just set my axis. The next thing to do is to set the scale of the video. So this is just going to tell Logger Pro exactly how far the cart is traveling over a certain amount of time by showing it an example of one meter. So I'm going to take this line and drag it exactly over my meter stick to tell Logger Pro that I have exactly one meter. I'm doing this very inexactly. Um, as you can see, I can't actually see exactly where that meter stick is behind the cart. When you record this with your partner, you should have the meter stick held up a little bit so that you can physically see the whole thing. So I'm going to say this is about the length of the meter stick. And now it gives me the option to set how much distance is represented by that line. So that looks good. It's just going to be one meter. So now I'm all set to begin to capture motion. Now I'm going to go up here and click Select Point. And what I'm doing now is just putting data points on the video. This is going to be where it starts. So I'm just going to put the first point where the cart is. I'm considering the cart to be the front of the cart right here. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it skips forward one frame and allows me to just immediately place the next dot to show Logger Pro where the cart is in the next frame of the video. So it's pretty easy to follow along. You just have to keep clicking on the front of the cart. It doesn't have to be perfectly exact as long as you're getting a pretty clear estimation of where that is. So I can just keep clicking along as I go. There might be a few glitches here and there where there's some repeated frame and the cart appears not to move. Just keep following the cart as best as you can and those errors will kind of get cancelled out by the overall pattern. Okay, I don't really want to make any more dots because this is the exact moment when the cart hits the books and that might affect my data. So now I'm done analyzing the video and if I make this screen smaller I can see that it's produced a very clear curved position versus time graph. Those blue dots just mean what's going on on the y-axis, and I'm going to ignore those. I don't really care so much about what's going on on the y-axis. What I do care about especially are these values right here, so the time and the x. Each one of these times goes with the cart's position at that exact time in the video. You should scroll down to the bottom and get an idea of what kind of time interval you're dealing with altogether. So I'm dealing with about 1.75 seconds of video. Once you have that idea, you want to only take five data points from this that you can use in your lab report, and you want them to be pretty equally spaced apart on the x-axis. So that means you should probably divide your time by fifths and just find whatever position the card is at for each fifth of the total time. So in this case, I have 1.75. So what I would do is divide that by five and see the position of the cart after about each fifth of that total time that's passed and write those five values on my data table. And once you're done with that, you can just take two more video recordings, take two more sets of data, fill out where the cart is for those same amounts of time to try to get a general pattern out of it that you can then average out in your lab report. So that's it to capturing motion on Logger Pro.